Hi guys, thanks so much for clicking on this video. We are really glad you're here. Right? Do 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 do. Our favorite podcasts. Okay, so I'm gonna be talking about my favorite Christian podcasts. This is the video that has been a long time coming. I've been talking about doing this for so long. The reason I feel like it's been so hard for me to actually make this video is because I I listen to so many podcasts. Like I listen to so many podcasts. And the reason being is I have a job that allows me to listen to podcasts throughout the day. So sometimes I listen from like three podcasts, to like seven podcasts a day. I'm fully enamored in the podcast realm, okay? With that being said, there is this certain feeling that I have that I'm like, well, I need to know with 100% certainty that these are good podcasts that I can recommend them. But I mean, with any podcast, you kind of just need to always have that level of discernment to be like, are they teaching truth? Even if they've been solid for two years, you still have to be asking, are they teaching truth? These have been podcasts that I've, I've really enjoyed. I've gotten a lot out of, and I also highly suggest and recommend. There are only five. I have many, many more, but I'm planning on making kind of separate videos and break them up a little bit more um, just because I feel like it'd just be an overload of podcasts and you'd never have enough time to listen to all of them. So I'm just going to give you a little dose today. We might as well start with the podcast I've been listening to for the longest time, meaning that it has withstood the test of time, you guys. And that is The Christian Worldview with David Wheaton. I love this podcast. I've been listening to it for so long. I've just, I feel like I have a certain connection to it because it's like the podcast that just goes way back for me, probably like maybe two and a half years or something, maybe even longer than that. I'm not exactly sure, but I just have gotten so much out of it. I love listening to David Wheaton. I love who he brings onto his program. So highly recommend that one. And it's like nostalgic for me now. So I really love it. And then the next one that just goes way back as well is Wretched Radio with Todd Friel. That one I just absolutely love as well, but it is blunt. It will get straight to the mean and of everything in life in general. What? That podcast in particular has helped me a lot in just discerning and giving me kind of just a more critical eye for things that could be off in the church. So um, I really like that one. Number three would be No Compromise Radio with Mike Avendroth. And I found this, I found his podcast through reading books. So if you want to know some of the books I'm reading, I have other videos on my channel of thrifted books and the books I read last year. So you can go and check those out because there are some good books that I've been reading. I tell you what. Um, but I'll probably also make some more videos of the books that I've been reading because, man, I've been reading some straight fire books this year. So, And it's only been like a month. So, yeah. No Compromise Radio with Mike Avendroth. Really good. Um, I also like that he doesn't, he doesn't mince words. He's pretty blunt about sticking to biblical truth. Um, so I love that. I love when they kind of point out some people who don't preach biblical truth and then contrast it with people who do. So they kind of give you like better resources and a better understanding and a more critical eye. So love that one as well. And then the next one is The Briefing with Albert Muller. And that was just a great one for Christians just to kind of be in the know of like the political world. He fits a lot in, in his like, I, I don't know how long the episodes are, but they seem to go really quick. And that might just be the way that he is so good at communicating what he needs to communicate, but um, it keeps you up to date with the political world. And um, yeah, I just really like that because it's coming from a Christian standpoint so you don't get fed the mumbo jumbo of just the political podcast. And then the last one is Cold Case Christianity with Jay Warner Wallace. And I really like this one too because I think he was like a homicide detective. Um, or no, maybe he was just a cold case detective and journalist. But anyway, he kind of uses that to uh, dig into 
Christianity and just give you a better understanding for Christianity and I guess in a way of kind of using apologetics and giving you a firm foundation for your faith with facts. Um, so I really like that podcast. And yeah, that wraps up all the five that I'm suggesting today. I'll probably make another video soon of like best Christian women podcasts because I have a handful of those that I really like listening to. So that might be my next one. Um, so keep an eye out for that. And leave in the comments below your favorite podcast because I will I would love to hear and would love to listen to them even though I have a ginormously long list of podcasts that I'm listening to right now, but why not add some more? Like, why not? I wish my brain was like a sponge because I really want to absorb everything I listen to and sometimes I only get bits and pieces, but anyways. Best ways to listen to Christian podcasts would be in the car, while you're cleaning, while you're getting ready, just while you're doing something, be listening, be learning, be growing. Those are my suggestions, you guys. Let me know, like I said in the comments below, your favorite podcasts or if you've already listened to some of these podcasts and I can't wait to see you in my next video. See you later.